Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It is your girl Brittany Jade and I am the owner and creator of TNZ Designs. It is a homemaker custom made tumbler business that I started with my children in mind. So if you don't know and you're new here, TNZ stands for my three children, TJ, Novali and Zamani, my oldest. And this brand was really inspired just by my putting my creative side forward and just being able to make really unique and custom pieces for you guys and my audience. So I am super excited about launching that brand this year and I will have all of my website details listed down below as well as my Facebook page for my business and if you guys could do me a favor and go and like that and be in support that would be awesome and if not thanks for checking out today's video so I thought that it would be really cool to show you guys some DIYs so today I am going to be taking you through how I make a custom glitter tumbler I actually have a really cool red and white ombre tumbler that I'm going to be doing today these are great gifts for anyone in your family and these can be customized with their favorite colors with their favorite sayings with different images or anything like that so I'm really excited if you guys are interested in seeing more videos like this from me make sure that you drop a comment down below and let me know that and I would be more than happy to create more videos like this this is something really different to my channel and I figured this would be really cool because this is actually how I spend a lot of my time now creating these so it's really cool I'm really excited and let's go ahead and jump right on into today's video Okay guys, so the first thing that you're going to need is some tumblers and I order these same tumblers on Amazon. I'll have those linked down below. And I like to start off by painting my tumblers white and I just use this white spray paint. You can literally use any kind you like. This is just what I prefer. I pick this up at the Walmart. And you totally don't have to paint your cups white. This step is totally optional. I just find that this gives my glitter the best vibrancy and it also helps to conceal it so you don't see any silver peeking through and I just feel like this gives me the best look so I just give this a nice fine coat and then once that's all dry I go ahead and get all my materials out that I'm going to need all of the glitters and this is the adhesive spray that I'm using right now I do typically like to use Loctite spray but unfortunately I don't have any right now so this adhesive is going to be the best bet and I like to have everything set up with my tumbler turner and my paper underneath, and this paper is gonna be used to caught, catch the glitter. There are a ton of different methods for how to apply glitter to cups. You can use Mod Podge, you can do the resin or the epoxy method, but I find that this is the quickest and easiest, especially for a simple design like this ombre. I'm just gonna go ahead and do a nice coating of the darker glitter first, which is going to be the red. And I just layer this on till I'm about halfway through the cup, and then I'll switch and add on the white glitter. This is where I get super happy that I have properly set myself up with having the two sheets of parchment paper because it makes it super easy for me to switch to the next color. The reason why I have a paper or like a plate or something underneath me is to catch all of that excess glitter there so that I don't waste any and it can all go back into the container. For the ombre portion of the cup, I'm going to be mixing a little bit of the white glitter and a little bit of the red glitter. I find that this gives the best mixture when you're going into that middle section so that there's not such an abrupt line and you can kind of mix this together as as you like and just give it a nice little ombre effect So 
you can see what I mean here. The ombre is really choppy. It's not even, it doesn't look nice and it's not blending seamlessly. So adding these two glitters together and just kind of giving it a nice gradient effect is going to give me that nice ombre look that I'm going for. The best advice I can give you for this section is to be patient. Don't try and rush this. You will have to go over this several times to get the desired look that you're going for. And I honestly went up way higher on the ombre than I would have liked to. But in the end, I am pretty happy with how it turned out and how I'm going to combat that is I'm going to add a little bit of this chunky red glitter. So the spray is kind of dried up. So I go and give this a nice another coating of that adhesive spray. And then I'm just going to add in some sprinkle of this chunky red glitter. And I feel like that's also going to help with the abrasive line and it's just gonna help melt the white and the red glitter together. Once I've let the glitter sit on the cup for about 45 minutes, I take it outside and give it a nice spray with this Krylon Clear Spray, and then I let that sit for about two hours. Then at that point, I'm going to mix together my epoxy. I use the amazing ClearCast Alumalite brand, which I'll also have linked down below for you guys. This stuff is expensive, so I would definitely recommend measuring this out with the measuring cups that come with it. I've gotten it really down to a science and I'm super used to it now, but you have to make sure that this is exactly the same, both sides A and B. And you're gonna wanna give it a nice mix separately for about a minute each with each cup and then you're going to want to add them to the same cup one side is super thick and the other is thin so i always add the thinner side to the thicker side and then once it's in the same cup i mix that together for about three minutes yes that is about six or seven minutes just of mixing before you even add it to the cup you'll know that it's nice and ready to go when there's no more streaks and when it is a nice heated up epoxy Although this brand that I'm using is totally food safe once it's cured, it is actually very bad for the skin and very bad for you to inhale. So you wanna make sure that you are in a well ventilated area and that you are wearing gloves whenever you're dealing with wet epoxy just to keep yourself safe. So I always make sure that I'm using a glove with the hand that I'm applying the epoxy to the cup and you can also use like a rubber spatula to do this applying method, but I prefer to use my hand because it just helps me feel where the cups need more epoxy and where it is not quite sealed yet. Um, so you'll know that you have enough epoxy when your glove just kind of slides down. And then you're gonna wanna let the cup cure for about 16 hours. I like to just let this happen overnight and then the next afternoon I'm ready to go in and do my sanding. Sanding is another thing that you have to be super patient with. You just wanna make sure that you are sanding everything down to a nice even layer because these cups do get really rough, especially when you're using any kind of chunky glitter. So if you want a nice smooth cup, you really have to take your time and be intentional with your sanding. And honestly, this process along with waiting for the epoxy to cure overnight is what makes these cups take so long, especially because I use multiple layers of epoxy. So that is just a quick little tip for you guys. I know that this video makes it seem like this is super quick and easy, but honestly, these cups take me like three days to complete. Once I feel like I've gotten a pretty good sand on it and everything is nice and even, I'm going to take some paper towels and some alcohol and I'm going to wipe down my cup and clean off all of that dust and everything and get it ready for decals. If you guys are interested in videos on how I use my Cricut and how I make my decal stickers, drop me a comment and let me know down below. Um, but I'm just gonna go ahead and apply the decals that I picked for this cup. It is personalized with the um, client's name and it has a sweet little 
message on the other side about being the best grandmother ever. I really enjoy making these vinyl stickers and I am not a pro whatsoever, so I'm still learning what looks good. Um, but this is what's so fun about these is that you can really put anything you want on here and just make it really personal and really sweet. And yeah, applying the vinyl is, you know, it's got its advantages and disadvantages. I find that I've gotten better with it over time, but it can be a pain when you're dealing with a curved surface like a cup. So just a little practice goes a long way with these things, but over time you'll definitely get uh, way better at it. But I'm really loving the way that this turned out. I love the design and I am going to go ahead and give this another layer of epoxy now. I actually do two more layers of epoxy. So that is gonna be me applying the epoxy, letting it sit for about 16 hours to fully cure, giving it another sand, and then applying another layer of epoxy, letting it fully cure. And then once that is all cured, I'll show you guys what the final product looks like at the very end. All right, so once I've gotten the cup all sanded and cleaned and it's all nice and cured, this is the final look. I hope that you guys enjoyed this look as much as I do. I really enjoyed creating this cup. And if you guys like these kinds of videos, again, please make sure that you give this video a thumbs up and comment down below so I know to keep on making them for you. And if you're totally not interested, leave me a comment down there below as well because I definitely don't wanna make any videos for you guys that you're not loving. I hope that you guys enjoyed creating this craft with me and I hope that this gives you some inspiration to make some fun tumblers for yourself and again I'll have every product that I used that I can list listed for you guys down below and if y'all have any other questions make sure that you're following me over on my Instagram page or leave me a comment here asking me anything I love being of help and assistance to you guys and I will catch y'all in the next video bye